Right, this is the second section on differentiation, differentiating exponentials and logs. They give you a couple of rules. Now these will get you through the easy ones, but I'm going to give you uh, something that's going to serve you better um, as you go through these exercises. So uh, the basic rule is this, if y equals e to the x, dy dx equals e to the x, so that's easy. So this is not given in the formula book. You'll be expected to remember this. If y equals log x, then dy dx difference to give you 1 over x. Now, what if instead of having an x here, you had like x squared or 2x or 5x minus 1 and the same here? Well, we've got some rules that are going to help us. The first one is this, if y equals e to a function of x, that can be any function of x, then dy dx is equal to that function differentiated times by e to the fx, what we started with. So we just differentiate what's here and that gets written up front. And for y equals log of a function of x, so that could be anything there, then dy dx equals the derivative of that function over the function. And I find these particularly helpful when you've got uh, more tricky functions rather than just e to the x or e to the 2x. What they give you in the book is fine for easy ones, but this rule, these rules here will help you when you've got more tricky differentiations to do. And this is all linked to something called the chain rule. So when we get to do the chain rule, all of this will all fall into place and you'll see why we're doing what we're doing. Right, this one showed that the derivative of a to the x is a to the x log a. And this is something they could ask you to reproduce in the exam. So the first thing is that um, we're going to say, right, we're going to let y equal a to the x. That's the first step. Then we're going to actually write this as an equivalent expression by writing e and log right next to each other a to the x. So it's the same thing because what would happen if we did write something like this down, then it would cancel down to give you this. But we're writing it like this for a particular reason to allow us to do this proof. Now we've got this a here, or oh, sorry, we've got this x here, which is a power. And you know that if you do the log of something to a power, that power can be written at the front. So the next step would be y equals e to the x log a. Now, where did a come from? a was here. Okay, it's a number. It's just a constant. Yeah, it's not going to change. x and y change. They're variables, but a isn't going to change. So what's log a? Well, log a is it's another constant. Yeah, if a was five, for example, here, and you had five to the power x, here you just have log five. So a log of a number is just another number. It's a constant. Now here we can use that rule that I talked about, where if I differentiate, um, so if I've got y equals e to the f of x, a function of x, then dy dx is f dash of x times by e to the f of x. Now we're going to use that to differentiate what we've got here. So let's write that down here. So the x log a, 
which is this bit here, that differentiated is just log a. Imagine we've got a number times by x and we differentiate it. What do you end up with? You end up with just the number. And in this case, the number, the constant is log a. So dy dx will equal the constant log a. So this is like the f dash of x bit. That's like this bit times by e to the x log a. Now we're almost there. Uh, this x that's here, we're going to do the opposite to what we did at the in one of the first steps is we're going to move it to there as a power. So we have dy dx equals log a times by e to the log a to the x and then finally what happens is that this e and log cancel out just leaving you with uh, dy dx equals log a times by a to the x which is if we write it the other way around a to the x log a q e d So we've got some here that we need to do. Now we've already shown that if uh, y equals a to the x, then dy dx equals a to the x log a. What if this number here, or that's not just x, what if it was 2x or 3x or 4x or 5x or something different other than x? Well, there's, there's an extension of that rule is this, and I'll, I'll show you how it works. So uh, if, for example, we had uh, y equals 3 uh, to the power uh, 5x, then dy dx that would be 3 to the 5x so a is like 5 uh, the 3 and the 5 is like the k from this thing up here yeah it's like the k from that there um plus or times by log or times by 5 log 3. Yeah, so you can you see this number here is like your a and your 5 is like your k. So you can see how we can apply uh, that rule. Right, let's uh, start with part a then. So the e to the 3x differentiated will become 3e to the 3x. And this here, that's like the a, and the 3 is like the k in our rule. So it'll be plus, so it'll become a to the x, so it'll become two to the three x so notice that bit doesn't change times by now the k appears which is three so that times by three log a and a is two now we could if we wanted move that and make it two cubed up there um but it's fine to leave it like that B. So log of x cubed. So in our rule for differentiating log, the x cubed is like the f of x. And remember, we said when we differentiate log, 
it's going to be like f dash of x over f of x so f dash of x is 3x squared over f of x which is x cubed that can be simplified down in a moment plus uh, f dash of x over f of x so this can actually be simplified this is what dy dx equals so if we simplify that dy dx uh, will equal well 3x squared divided by x cubed that will be 3 over x divide the top and the bottom by uh, x squared plus 7 over 7x becomes 1 over x and we can uh, put those together can't we to give us 4 over x so all of that just becomes 4 over x and the last one c uh, we'll probably want to simplify all of this before we attempt to differentiate it so y equals 2 over 4 e to the 3x minus 3 e to the 7x over 4 e to the 3x so let's simplify that so i know here and here that's going to cancel down so that just leaves us with um, 1 over 2 e to the 3x and with the second one we've got a division as well now what will happen is that when we divide uh, things with powers we subtract the powers so it'll become 3 quarter e to the 4x 7x minus 3x is 4x now if we want to differentiate it we want to write that first term in in the form that we can differentiate it so we'll have half e to the minus 3x minus 3 quarters to the e to the 4x so now we can differentiate it now that we've done all the donkey work um, so remember this is like the f of x part so we want to differentiate that so we'll have um, negative a half which is there already uh, times by minus 3x differentiated which is just minus 3 so times by negative 3 e to the minus 3x then the second term you've already got the negative 3 quarters 4x differentiated is 4 so it's going to get times by 4 e to the 4x so the last thing you want to do is just to tidy that up so we'll end up with 3 over 2 e to the minus negative 3x minus 3 quarters times 4 is 3 3 e to the 4 x so we will just highlight that answer so that you can see it now i think a half crept in somewhere this minus or that minus crept in from somewhere i'm not sure where i got that from because there wasn't a there wasn't a minus there i put a minus there maybe my pen i blame the pen it's got a mind of its own in which case then this should be a minus there so let's move this across so we can see the minus nice and clearly right so yeah as i said let's highlight the final answer there so you should now be able to do exercise 9b on pages 236 to 237 of the textbook